This video, we're going to demonstrate how to create a backup of your email, what we've referred to as a PST, or personal storage file. And there's a video already on our YouTube channel on how to do this, but it's for Office 2013 or 2016. So the version we're going to do today is 2010, and you can verify that. You can go to File in your Outlook and down to Help. And it'll tell you what version it is. Again, ours is 2010. So let's concentrate on how to back up from this version. And again, we're going to go to File. And inside File, we're going to go to Open. And we're going to go to Import. And even though it doesn't say Import Export, it's got a green and a blue arrow. But we're going to go to Import and click on that. And when that window opens, it's got Export or Import. So we want to export to a file and click Next. And we're going to do an Outlook data file, an Outlook data file .pst. And Next. And it defaults to your inbox. You can choose your top or your inbox, either one. Uh, the main thing that you want to do is make sure that this box is checked that says include subfolders. If you don't check this box, it's only going to get what emails are inside your inbox. And if you've got folders created like I do, you will not get any of that content. So be sure and check this box. Now, do as I say, not as I do. I'm going to uncheck this, and I'm only going to uncheck it for demonstration purposes because I have so many emails. It would literally take 30 minutes to back up my email. Be prepared. If you have a lot of emails, or if you have a lot of pictures or videos in emails, this could take a little bit of time to complete. So, but for, just, just assume mine's checked. Click Next. And here's where you can browse for a location. Now I'm going to click browse. And I normally, I'm using a different computer for this demonstration, but I normally have Google Drive or Dropbox over here. I prefer to store mine in the cloud so that if I'm at home on my personal computer, I can pull up that PST file if I'm on a laptop or if my laptop that I have my PST file on crashes and I don't have a backup, well by putting it in the cloud you always have a backup. For this demonstration we're just going to put it inside our documents and there's already a folder called Outlook Files. We're just going to keep it named backup but I highly recommend that you would put it in Google Drive. Now I would want to caution one more thing about Google Drive. If you install it to your Windows desktop to where it does show up here, you need to be aware because when you install Google Drive on a desktop, that syncs any files in your Google Drive to your desktop. A lot of the new laptops have gone to a different technology in the hard drive and the hard drives are much smaller you will completely fill up your hard drive in a short period of time. So what I'm going to do, and I'll show through this video, is I'm going to save it to the documents, but then I'm going to move it to the cloud. All right, so let's go. Let's go ahead and click OK. So we've chosen our path. And just you can just leave that at replace, and we're going to click Finish. It gives you the option of adding a password unless you're just really concerned that someone's going to look in your PST file and also unless you're very secure that you will never forget your password I would just leave it blank. So we're going to click OK and it's probably going to take a minute or so okay or a second or so and that backup is finished and we can verify that we can minimize our email and we can go to our documents and right there's our backup we just created now you can now you can take that backup you can right click and cut it and you can move it to the cloud you can go to your Google Drive
Dropbox, whatever program that you might have. Or you could put it on a pen drive. You could put it on your network folder. I just would not leave it on a single source device to where that you don't have a backup of your PST file. So let's log in. Of course, once you log in, you can click on the little Brady Bunch icon, I call it, and you can go to your drive. And then once your drive is open, You can upload files and that should open a box on your hard drive and then you can go to that document, select that file, select open and it will upload it to your Google Drive. And that same procedure that I just did is pretty common, works with your Dropbox or your iCloud and things like that. So that's just an easy way of getting a backup in the cloud. And that's also a pretty simple. That this is the one thing you can do forward in rules, you can do out of message rules, out of office message rules, but you cannot back up a PST file from WebMount. You have to do it from Outlook. Oh, there you go. Thanks.